so excited today. You know why? This is your last music class with me on video. Yay! Silent celebrations there. So next time that you guys have music, I will actually be back in your classroom. And I'm so excited to meet you. I'm so excited to play games with you and take you outside and move and groove in real life, in person. So today, let's do our very best to try and stay focused, to try and participate along with me in the video. So that way next week when I come back, you guys are rock stars and you know exactly what to do and you're showing me how awesome you've been doing with all of these video lessons, okay? Last time I saw you, I showed you my slide whistle and I showed you how it can really sound like a spooky ghost. Are you guys ready? Okay, so when I make my sound with my slide whistle, you're gonna copy with your voice. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, make sure you're joining along. ready to go? I hope so because we're going to sing the little old lady song again who's all skin and bones. By now you've become pros at the ooh, but in case you need one more time to practice today's your day because when I see you next time we're going to add something extra spooky to it okay and at the end if you want to yell ooh, you can join with me too, all right? Here we go. There was an old woman, all skin and bones. Ooh, she lived down by the old churchyard. Ooh, one night she thought she'd take a walk. jump in that time? Good. I hope so because remember next week I have something fun to add to that that adds even more spookiness to it. Which to be said, speaking of spooky, wouldn't it be even spookier if it was raining out that night she was walking? Remember pitter patter? Let's do the actions as I sing, okay? Pitter patter, pitter patter, Listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. One more time. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. Good work, okay? Are the trees empty right now do they, or do they still have leaves? I don't know, I'll be curious to see come fall. But remember my autumn leaves song? Autumn leaves are 
falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Autumn is another word for fall, for the season of fall. So in case some of you are like, what in the world is Mrs. Teague's talking about? We have four seasons, right? We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. And fall has another name called autumn, okay? Autumn is actually the real name, but I think it got its nickname because all of the leaves are falling, right? Makes sense. So we're gonna make our hands fall like this, just like we did with pitter pat. Try that. And the next part is making a tall tree, so hands straight up. And when the when they're looking very bare, we're gonna swoosh our arms down like this. Pretend that the leaves are all cleared out. Okay, so try those actions with me today. Autumn leaves are falling, falling everywhere. Hands up. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. Did you do it? Good work, okay? Awesome. Now, those leaves are really important because, and autumn leaves that are, is, because that's actually the season that our story is in. The story that I told you about last week called The Little, or last time, excuse me, called The Little Old Lady Who Is Not Afraid of Anything, okay? She really wasn't. However, she kept running into all kinds of different silly things. You might remember, we need, I needed your help to make some of the sounds. So let's stand on up, okay, ready? And the first thing she ran into was two pair, or one pair of shoes, two shoes. Do you remember what the shoes did? That's right, they went stomp, stomp. Try that with Mrs. Teagues and say those words. Here we go. Stomp, stomp. Good. After the shoes, she ran into a pair of pants. What did the pants do? Good work, they went wiggle, wiggle. And remember, we shook. Can you try that with Mrs. Teagues? Wiggle, wiggle. Awesome, so two shoes. Stomp, stomp. Oh, excuse me, clomp, clomp. Similar, but a little different. Then the pair of pants that went wiggle, wiggle. Then she found a shirt. What did the shirt do? Shake, shake. So shake it with your body. So the shirt went shake, shake. Pants went wiggle, wiggle. And the two shoes went clomp, clomp. Okay? After that, she ran into two white gloves. We wear gloves on our hands. Do you remember what they did? That's right. The gloves went clap, clap. Try it one more time with Mrs. Teagues. Clap, clap. One shirt went shake, shake. One pair of pants went wiggle, wiggle. And then two shoes went clomp, clomp. Good work. The next thing was a hat. The hat goes on your head. What could your head do? Nod. Nod. Try that with Mrs. Teagues. Here we go. Nod. Nod. Two gloves went clap, clap. One shirt went shake, shake. One pair of pants went wiggle, wiggle. And one pair, two shoes went clomp, clomp. And then the very last thing was a pumpkin head. Do you remember what the pumpkin's head said? You're right, a jack-o'-lantern went boo, boo. All right, here is the story. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and things. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. 
The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes, and the shoes went, ready? Clomp, clomp. Good work. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked down the path, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you said the little old lady, and she walked on, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap. And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you. And on she walked just a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, ready? Boom, boom. <coughs> this time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all, she ran. But behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two white gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin hat go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. And what do you think she saw? What do you think, kindergartners? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boom, boom. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked sad. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said, good night, closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window and looked into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. One scary pumpkin head go boo, boo, and, and scare all the crows away. Hopefully you can see. The pumpkin became a scarecrow. Isn't that cool? 
We're going to explore some more sounds next week. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun to be able to say that when I'm with you and we get to add some really cool things to make that sound awesome. Okay, now we did a great job listening to know what sounds we needed to make in our story. Let's stand back up. I'm sorry, Mrs. T sat down. And let's listen to my drum today. Marching in your place, okay? If it's a big sound or a loud sound, really big march. If it's a quiet or soft, really tiny tiptoe. And if it's in the middle, just a nice middle, middle march, okay? Ready? Nice and big. Good work. about music having different volumes. When I played a big sound on the drum that was loud, like our shouting voice. When I played a little sound on the drum that was quiet, kind of like our soft voice. And then we could say that if it was in the middle, it's kind of like our speaking voice, isn't it? Okay, just something to think about. Five little pumpkins, get your pumpkins ready. Say it with me this, this time, because I bet you guys got it, okay? Here we go. Five little pumpkins sitting on the gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, are you ready for some fun? Then ooh went the wind and out went the light. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Oh, now we better catch those pumpkins because I want to bake them into a pie. Now, I need your help today. Okay, for here's a pumpkin for the pie. Last time I just showed you how the poem went. Today, be my echo and do the actions too, okay? Now, when it's a big pumpkin, we went like this. Apples, a turkey for the roasting pan, and then we can hardly wait, okay? Ready? Be my echo. Here's a pumpkin for the pie. Here's a pumpkin for the pie. Apples red to bake. Apples red to bake. Turkey for the roasting pan. Turkey for the roasting pan. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. Good work, let's try it one more time with you be my echo, okay? Here's a pumpkin for the pie. Here's a pumpkin for the pie. Apples red to bake. Apples red to bake. Turkey for the roasting pan. Turkey for the roasting pan. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. Good job. Ooh, I can't wait. Pumpkin or apple pie. Mm, I think I like apple pie better. What about you guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's tricky. They're both pretty delicious, that's for sure. Stand up, please. 
Let's play all around the brickyard. We're gonna do as many actions as I can think of today. So if I'm stepping it, you step it. If I'm hopping, you're hopping. If I'm flapping, you're flapping. But you need to move and groove, okay? That way, next week, I can maybe ask you for your ideas, okay? But you have to practice now when I'm not here, all right? Here we go, we'll start with stepping. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna step it, step it, step it, step it, remember me. Good, let's do clap. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna clap it, clap it, clap it, clap it, remember me. Let's hop one foot safely. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna hop it, hop it, hop it, hop it, remember me. Okay, hmm. Let's march uh, in a circle. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna march it, march it, march it, march it, remember me. Flap it with our wings. All around the brickyard, Remember me, I'm gonna flap it, flap it, flap it, flap it, remember me. Let's pat it on our legs. All around the brickyard, remember me, I'm gonna pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, remember me. Good, let's monkey it. If I'm a monkey, I'm gonna pretend like my arms are like this swinging. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna monkey, 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 remember me. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna sit in my seat, sit in my seat, remember me. Take your seats, please. If you didn't take your seat already. Awesome. Whew, gotta take a quick drink. Catch my breath. Good work. All right, we're gonna finish again today with two stories. We'll start out with, there was an old lady who swallowed some leaves and then your, your teacher will stop the video and show you my silly video of going on a bear hunt, okay? Cause, well, it was pretty crazy if you remember from last time, if you got to watch it. So here's our little old lady who swallowed some leaves. There was an old lady who swallowed some leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a shirt. It didn't hurt to swallow the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a pumpkin. She wasn't a pumpkin to swallow that pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt, the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a pole. She was on a roll when she swallowed that pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed some pants. She started to dance when she swallowed those pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a rope. She didn't mope when she swallowed that rope. She swallowed the rope to tie up the pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed some hay. She didn't say why she swallowed that hay. But she did it with ease and she started to sneeze. Ah-choo! Remember what she makes? 
another scarecrow. Happy fall. Awesome. Your teachers will take a little bit of time that's left to show you going on a bear hunt. That silly video that I made a separate time. I'm so excited to be able to see you next week, kindergartners. In the meantime, open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Goodbye, kindergarten. I wish you well, and I can't wait to see you in person next week. Bye.